Never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Trust a tourist advertisement. Trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out! Now get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please, call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. 
Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Lee. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can... Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature, scion of a robust bloodline, a philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. The places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, this city is insular. Its ways... How do you fill your days, Mr. Vandenberg? I host a philosophy club for the... So quite... There is no... Oh. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. We'll meet again, Mr.
I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is... Uh, ahem. Uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or Ridden City will do a damn thing. But yes... Let's talk about your dreams. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other... And you don't believe him? Complete... Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsma. I take it you're not the... Those feet now. So they're just... <laughs> Hardly. Not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Mr. Thro... What makes... Let's... Vera. Sorry, did you just say... Vera? What does that mean? You had better get there. I... I need to take this fisherman some... Anything else? Clear. You mentioned... Old yes. Face that. Where's that? Fuck. As much... Find... I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Who are you? 
Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. We moved here after... Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. KB with it. I have no idea. Who is this K you keep... Outside of show some respect. Sorry. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. I'll leave you to it. Please. Detective? Sir? I don't know yet. Ed, I still hear those voices. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. seen knives like this before. Master for work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Five cards short of a full house.
I gave you clear instructions, did I not? I've said everything I know. The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Bye. Come. Come closer. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Seems a little generic. Mm. All right, how <gasps> And I'll make it easy. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me folk. The sea will be generous in the coming. I don't think I follow. I see you. Oh, and, and. I. Th it is. <sighs> Why do I. Embrace your fate.
No, I'll miss the carpenter's food. Stay alert. With this darn Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. What the? Get them! Oh. The door won't budge. 